Hello and welcome to Metro Arts. I'm your host, Sophia Sanchez. Here on Metro Arts, we highlight some of the best in the business, from fine artists, photographers, and performing artists, to cinematographers and musical artists, all from the Metro Detroit area. On today's show, we'll feature filmmaker Rashawn Page, artist Kristen Adamchek, and electronic music duo Little Animal. <laughs> We'd like to welcome filmmaker Rashawn Page to the Midtown studio at Wayne State. Hello. Hello. You began as an actor. What made you want to step behind the camera on the, on the business side of things? Now, as an actor, mm -hmm. <clears throat> a lot of your choices and success is controlled by other people. Mm -hmm. You have your directors, you have your casting directors, and you have your agents. Those are the people who make the choices for you. Mm -hmm. so now, as a writer and director, I can write it and make it myself so I control my own success. So you become your own agent. Exactly. What is the most important message you try to convey in your work? What I try to do in everything I do mm -hmm. is that the world has a bit of a miscrewed view on African American people. They all think we're thugs or something like mm -hmm. that. So when I get to writing certain things, I try to make sure I give a different view to the world. You know. As a filmmaker, writer, and producer, can you tell us about your creative process? I kind of just dive into things, actually. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> when I start writing, I don't think too much. I okay. just, I know where I'm, I'm starting, I know where I'm going to end, and I just kind of let the story tell itself, you know. Mm -hmm. And I actually make discoveries myself as I write. Oh, interesting. You know? So how do you approach starting a film? As far as writing-wise? Yeah, sure. Usually I just get an idea. Like, someone could say a line to me, like, you know, um, chickens in the, in the forest, and my mind will go, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I'll just go ahead and start writing. What inspires you? What actually actually got me into changing from actor to a writer mm -hmm. was actually Vin Diesel himself. Oh, really? Because Vin Diesel went to California, struggled, and mm -hmm. he didn't do well, so he came back. And he wrote a short film and a full feature. And those two films got him started and put him where he is today. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes. We have one of your current films, Brenda. Let's watch. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But what they don't tell you is that thing won't stop trying to kill you. That was short but powerful. Tell us about Thank this you. film. Brenda? Yes. Brenda is actually inspired by a song by Tupac Shakur. Oh, okay. And um, when I written the song, I actually listened to, when I, I'm sorry, when I written the short film, mm -hmm. I listened to the song over and over and over just to get a feel for it and also interviewed women to see how they, how they been during high school or you know, things like that to actually form this story. So you have an interesting outlook on the women actresses. I do. Tell me about that. I do. I know this actress, and she wanted to be in Butterfly Effect 3. Okay. And someone told her she has the part, but she has to be topless. Then somebody mm -hmm. else called her back and said, no, you can do bra and panties. And then somebody else called her back and said, no, we wanted you to be topless. Hmm. And, you know, that really broke her. You know, being an actress, that's what she wants to do. So I actually wanted to create work where women didn't have to worry about that at all. So you try to create a more positive environment mm -hmm. where women can work. That's mm -hmm. great. Because there's more things I can do besides nudity and make it great. Yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So what about the, the character Brenda? What, what inspired you to create that kind of character? Like I said, it was based off that, you know, that song. Off yeah. that song. That song. Okay. And yeah. we have another film called After Effects. Mm -hmm. Let's watch a clip. She did it again last night. And by it, you mean? It's the same thing every night. Every night? So to reiterate, you wish your free adolescent daughter would stop coming into your room in the middle of the night and asking you to read her a story, correct? 
read her a story, tuck her in, turn on the light, all of it. I see. And how does that make you feel? Yeah, fine. Seeing as though I don't have any children. I see. Old is right. I'm afraid we're out of time. But before we end, would you care to know how I feel? Excuse me? Do you want to know how I feel? Well, do you? Mommy? 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 Oh my gosh, the ending of that was really intense. Tell us about this film. After Effect is a film that I've been trying to have made for a while because it's controversial, because it talks about abortion. So it kind of gives me a hard time with you know mm -hmm. getting people to join on or whatever. Even Kickstarter has kicked off two pro-life films really? off their, their website. So what I decided to do was actually set After Effect to the side and focus on something that isn't controversial, that mm -hmm. isn't like, you know, terrifying people. Sure. You know. What are you currently working on? Right now, I just, right now I've just been studying. Okay. Because today is my last day of my online course for raising funds and stuff like that. Because okay. there are producers who say they produce, mm -hmm. but when it's time to do the work, nothing gets done. Yeah. So. So you're delving into the books and then you're yes. going to work on some more stuff. Yes. Where can we learn more about you? You can go to my website, www it's slash a slash rap dot com. Okay. My social media, everything is on there. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. <laughs>
What exactly is a print for those people who don't know what right. a print is? Well, an artist print is simply, um, it can be a graphic design that was just meant to be printed, mm -hmm. or it could be like a photo of an actual painting that is printed on just a nice piece of paper, so something like a watercolor texture, okay. something thick and nice. And so it's like you could collect these artist prints, and it's a, a smaller form instead of buying the actual painting, you know? Mm -hmm. So Kristen and I are actually neighbors. We live yeah. in the same loft complex, right? Right here in Detroit. Right. So why um, have you chosen to remain in Detroit and what's the biggest challenge for you being a local Detroit artist? Right, uh, well I was considering staying in Detroit my entire time at, at school. Mm -hmm. um, I really saw the rebirth of the city happening through the creative, through technology, uh, through the music scene. And so I wanted to be here, I wanted to be part of it. Um, I, it's provided that opportunity that I'm a big fish in a small pond. Mm -hmm. I, I can make myself, I have the opportunity and the time and resources to just invest in myself. And if you're a hard worker, then it's the right yes. place to be. What about Detroit inspires you? Uh, what inspires me? Well, honestly, the vast openness and like freedom, opp that opportunity mm -hmm. that I just mentioned, um, and the landscape is very raw here, mm -hmm. so a lot to work with. And you're going to do a demonstration for us. Yes, definitely. So what are we going to see? So uh, an aspect that I do in a lot of my paintings is a photo transfer. Mm -hmm. We're going to do one of those. Okay, perfect. Cool. Let's look at some of Kristen's artwork, and when we come back, we'll do a demonstration. Kristen, walk us through what we're about to do here. Great, so we're gonna do a photo transfer okay. onto a wood canvas. Um, to start that, we're gonna need you to Grab get this. tough here. Okay. I, I'd love to have you have the pink one. Oh, okay, gotcha. So give it a little shake. <sighs> Got some spray paint. All right, and, just go. Um, yep, just give it a little spot. There you go, get a little closer. Okay. Cool, and as you can see, she's just like applying a layer of paint, a okay. little more. Oh, what? yeah, just get it, get oh, it. Oh, okay, cool. there we go. Cool, so the transfer, you basically will want some colors, you know, anything that you want. Yeah. I usually work with a lot of gradients of like a sunset nice. because I use the landscapes behind. So oh. you need a photo that's basically like an inkjet print and the ink sits on top of the paper. So um, this is pretty affordable then. Very cheap, yeah, yeah like a yeah. cheap printer is what you need. Okay. Um, you can go to FedEx and then, so just this white space basically will transfer where like you'll see the color come through. So that's why okay. you pick whatever colors you want in your sky or in your open area. Okay. And then basically what we're gonna do is transfer this photo down. Cool. So you take acrylic, gel medium, okay. so it's like acrylic paint that just doesn't have any color to it. All right. So we're gonna use this canvas because the spray paint is dry. All right. And then you just use the brush and put a nice uh, thin layer, just pretty even, onto the canvas. Okay, like that then? Yep. All right, sweet so deal. I guess I could set this down. Yeah. Make it easy for yourself. Yeah. And as you can see, there's these nice, the type of brush she's using is keeping the paint very even across the whole canvas and like doesn't have a texture to it. It's keeping it flat as opposed, this will keep it from bubbling. Cool. Nice. Perfect. Cool. So now that you've applied that, All right. we take a photo and we've picked this one of a landscape. Okay. And you just lay it down onto that. And yep, and you, you really try as she's pushing. I'm going to lift it up and kind of show that she's trying to keep the spots from getting bubbles and just really getting that on there really nice and smooth. Perfect. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's actually going really well. Okay, good. You're doing a really good job. Cool. All and right. so then what happens is we'll let this sit. Usually, actually, while the paint only takes an hour or two, I like to let stuff sit overnight um, just because I'm doing uh, this is one layer. I end up, my pieces have like sometimes five or six. Oh, interesting. So I let stuff sit overnight, but um, honestly, all you have to do then is in the morning when it's dry, you rub this paper pulp off because it's dry. Mm -hmm. So you just add water and soap and take the paper pulp off, and what you are left is an image roughly kind of distorted left onto the image, just a like under the canvas, just a little over the paint. That's wonderful. So where can people learn more about you? 
So you can read about me and see more of my art on my website, kristinadamchick.com, okay. just my name, and my Instagram, which is a damn chick. Okay, yeah. perfect. It was great having you on here. Thanks so much. It was Absolutely. awesome. You're watching Metro Arts Detroit, produced at Wayne State University. <laughs> And now let's welcome Rochelle Baker and Nicholas Morrow from Little Animal to Metro Arts Detroit. Welcome, guys. Hello. Thanks for having us. Little Animal is a cool name. How did you come up with that? Um, I always thought Rochelle kind of resembled a little animal in some ways. What ways did she resemble an animal? She's really cute and <laughs> playful. What exactly is electronic music? Um, I, I mean, technically, electronic music is just anything that's made on an elect electronic instrument or a computer or a synthesizer or like anything like that. Okay. Um, so it could be techno or house or uh, I don't know, jungle, like breakbeat. A lot of different of kinds yeah. of, yeah. It's, it's kind of a very general term. <laughs> which, <laughs> yeah. So what is the difference between electronic music and electronic dance music? Uh, I think electronic dance music is more of a, a wider term for more mainstream electronic music. Okay. So I've always been curious, what exactly do you do with the music board? Um, I create a lot of uh, synthesizers from scratch and I use a lot of samples, um, uh, basically composing with whatever I can get. Okay, cool. So, um, how has Detroit, the place of Motown sound, received electronic music, in your opinion? I feel like very well. Um, Detroit's really, really good at like, like kind of founding or fostering certain sounds. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's, it, we, we're lucky to come from a place where like the birth of techno and like garage rock and and also the Motown sound. So, people, I feel like people are generally really open and like inviting when when they hear electronic music or yeah. our music. So it's sort of like a melting pot of yeah. sound. Okay, cool, all right. So, and now, here's Little Animal with their electronic single, Dance With You.
You have such a great sound. Thank What's you so your much. next uh, song that you're going to play for us? Oh, we're going to play Trist next. Okay. And um, it's about kind of letting people haunt you. <laughs> <That's> interesting. <laughs> nice. So where can people learn more about you and oh, Little we, Animal? We have a SoundCloud page, uh, SoundCloud slash Little Animal. And then we have a Facebook page where we post all of our little doodads. That's Little Animal Sounds. So. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Again, here's Little Animal with Trist. We hope you enjoyed today's show. I would like to thank our guests, Rashawn Page,
Kristen Adamchek and Little Animal for being here today. Remember, you can watch any of our shows online at MetroArtsDetroit.com and find us on social media. I'm your host, Sophia Sanchez, reminding you to seek out inspiration and explore the arts in your community. Thank you.